Being a gay player in the NFL from 1964 to 1973, it was a really tough time in the locker room. There was all kinds of um, homophobic remarks and it was, it was the dark ages. It's, it's been the dark ages in there for a long time. For me, it, I, it, I was dealing with my sexuality. People didn't understand. There wasn't the, the talk of, of gay people all over the news or in television or anything. There was nothing. When I went to Washington, there was a player, Jerry Smith, who had much more experience than I did with life. Um, he embraced me, and um, I grew to love Jerry. I grew to love him as a person because he was so supportive and so loving. Jerry Smith and Dave Copay weren't the only gay ball players in the National Football League. There's been players of unbelievable success and recognition. Recognition that might be the highest recognition in all of sports um, that are gay or closeted. When I heard that this young man was an All-American Co-Defensive Player of the Year, I wanted to go over to visit him. I kind of punched him up and I kind of said, you know, you got to um, bring it like you never brought it before. I says, all this talk about your sexuality, is there's a place for it and it's now. It'll be for a few days and it'll be over with. Um, but you got to go to training and you got to make the team. And, um, and you can make the team. Is the locker room going to be any different now than it was when I played? Well, it sure as hell is going to be different. Because look at the way Michael Sam's own teammates reported themselves when he told all of the teammates, including the coach, that he was gay. They stuck up for him. They, um, they didn't want to reveal it them, that issue um, themselves to other people. Um, he, they wanted to give him the right to speak out according to when he chose to speak out, when he felt good and comfortable and, and, and ready to speak out, and he, and, and he did. That would never have happened in my day, you know. <laughs>